my purple banditos and welcome back to more let's play the legend of zelda oracle of ages i'm purple rodri in the last episode we made it about halfway through level eight in today's episode we're hopefully going to beat it it's gonna get a little bit tougher from here on out guys this is the second half of the dungeon we did a lot last time we also obtained the first tablet which i know we can actually insert here but as you can see there's still three more that we're gonna have to obtain here in this dungeon and it doesn't get any easier. Let's see if we can find them. I know sorts of where we need to go from what you guys have told me. So hopefully, I think this is it. Yeah, this is definitely the right way. So hopefully we can actually, you know, knock it out. I feel I feel pretty confident about this dungeon. I got a lot of uh, good comments from you guys. And I think we'll do a pretty decent job. We already have the boss key too. So now it's just a matter of finding the three tablets. And once we obtain the three tablets, we will be more than ready to finally finish off this last dungeon i know i can taste it it's so close we are we are so so close right now from defeating this i'm actually pretty excited to get this dungeon done over with because after that there isn't much left guys let's go inside of this cart then and see where it takes us it's always nice to go for a little cart ride here and there ah oh, no tiles so hope you guys are enjoying your weekend i'm definitely enjoying my weekend i am probably you know, just chilling, enjoying my time. Uh, you know, South Carolina, gonna take a trip there with some friends. So it's gonna be a pretty good time. I'm actually looking forward to it. Oh, as you can see, we went down. I was talking to you guys a lot about that road trip thing. Finally gonna get to road trip. We're visiting a couple friends. It's me, Chris, and Mo who are gonna go on a little bit of a trip here. Um, so it's gonna be a pretty good time, except we're gonna have to drive like six hours. So that's always a blast. All right, whoa, easy here. Easy with the razor blades. Oh. Okay, I, I definitely think I'm headed the right way at least. So I tell myself that a lot of the time. But a lot of the time, I'm probably wrong. I love how walls just collapse here, you know? So efficient. So efficient. Oh, fudge. Not this guy. Not this guy. Not this guy, please. I, oh, wait. I think I almost killed him. Okay, come on, come on. You can do it, Rod. Take him down. We got him, guys. There we go. That wasn't bad. Honestly, whenever you have to fight that guy on, like, a ice plateau... Just go for it. Sometimes you just have to hit them. I know that there's times where you it's not good to be aggressive in this game, but I'm telling you, being aggressive works a lot of the time. You have to go after what you want, guys. That's how life works. All right, let's go up here. Wait, we were just back here, weren't we? Yeah, this is... Oh, fudge. It's the lantern, guys. Oh, it's the candles. It's your birthday. Here we go. Let's, let's light you up and, and kill you like it's your birthday. Because that, that's what we'd all, we all want to do here. Just don't explode on me, okay? Look, I will light you up. I will set you on fire. I will let you kill yourself. Just don't, don't do it on top of me. Oh, of course, yeah. Yeah, explode on me. One of these guys left, and then I think, I think we'll be able to go through that room. If not, we better get a key out of this. All right, you, you kill yourself, little dude. We are going to sit back here and wa watch your explosion. Nice. Sweet, let's keep on going. Oh, Gibdos. You know a little trick I've actually found out about Gibdos? Let me show you. It, well, we actually have these out right now. You light them on fire, they turn into the Golden Skultulas. Well, they're they're not. They'll Stalfos, but still, just a little trick. You know, thought you guys would appreciate that. Uh, fudge, we are underwater. I guess this dungeon is going to have a little bit of everything. Who would have thought? This dungeon is going to have everything in it. It's going to have water. It's going to have Link. Where the heck are the Gorons? That's the only thing missing from this. All right. So this next part is actually really difficult. Um, I'm going to try my best to make it through here. But as you guys know, sometimes I don't do the best of things. Uh, I hope I can make it through here. I don't want to die. So if I don't make it this time, I'll probably come back to the time where I actually make it with you guys. Uh, just so I don't die, mother fudger. All right. We have about three hearts left. Um... I'm going to be back here in like two seconds once I've actually made it through. So there we have it, guys. I actually made it. Wow, that was a little bit surprising. Now let's go here to the right. I, I think the right side is where we need to go. All right, nice. So a little tip for you guys when you're making your way through there. Do it slow. The slower, the better, honestly, because... I was kind of pressuring it there pretty dang hard, and it can it can pretty much mess you up. Let's go up here then. We are looking for our other slate. So there we have it. We have one of the slates left, and is there an exit here? No, there was an exit to the left. Now that we have this one, there should be only one slate left. 
We have the boss key, but if you guys remember, I actually still have to go back and get the compass. So I will be doing that, and it actually shouldn't take too much. Uh, we'll, we'll do- whoa, okay, this is- this is definitely the way out. Now, we need to figure out where the last slate is. If I'm correct, I think I- I think I know where it is. There's one area we have yet to explore. It's- is it- where is it? We need to figure this out. Uh, we need to go back to the room that has all the crap in it. It isn't this one. Uh, it's gonna be to the left. Yes, definitely to the left. We have to pass where everything else was, and I think it's to the left of it. Yeah, alright. This, so this is where the last slate's gonna be. I'm pretty sure. Ooh, holy crap. Uh, did not realize I had that out. I need my sword out, because it's only gonna get harder from here. And look, we got some of these mimes over here. Nice. Let's roll down here then, and this is definitely where we have to be. Perfect. So let's head down this way, because this is where it's all gonna come very, very close, guys. Let me make sure this is it. Yes. Alright, so let me go ahead and whip out the Pegasus Seeds then, and if we can get the Pegasus Seeds... And the power glove, we should be pretty much good to get the last slate and then be ready to take on the boss. I know, I'm a little surprised too that we were able to do it, uh, you know, this uh, this efficiently. Get out of my way, Keese! Alright, there we go, we got ourselves the final slate, so we are ready to go inside of the boss's dungeon. But before we do that, I actually, I'm definitely gonna take care of a couple things here, guys. Just cause, you know, that, that's how I like to do things. Uh, there is a little stone over here. What the heck? Where is this taking us? I don't remember. This looks like a shortcut. Without a doubt, a shortcut. Shortcut to what? Beats me. That's all I'm gonna say. It beats me. I have to get back to the entrance, though. That's where I need to go, because uh, we need to find the compass, which is gonna be near the entrance. And, you know, for me to 100% dungeons, I want us to make sure we have everything. And, wait, I actually think we're really close to the compass. Yeah, we are really close to it. Definitely so close to the compass. So I'm just gonna keep diddle dwaddling around here then and we should be able to make our way to it Uh, Trying to remember where the heck it is. Oh wait. I think it's actually like right here. Oh No way that is the compass Wow, I am doing good today Wow, that's actually really surprising. I thought I was gonna have to do like this whole weird loop But hey, I guess the game is just really on our side today. So let's open this up We got ourselves the compass and now we're ready to continue on Okay, we have to make our way back to where the slate is, because uh, it's where the slate is that we need to make our way. I, if we put in all the four, I believe that's going to take us to where the boss is, and the boss is not going to be an easy one, I'll tell you that right now. It's probably going to be the toughest boss we've faced as of now. Uh, I think I can do it. I'm pretty good at Zelda, so I tell my- Oh, are you kidding me? I can't push that block again? That is some crap. That is some crap right there. You have got to be kidding me. How am how how the heck am I not able to push that? Okay, so now we're gonna have to really get the heck out of here. Uh, how did we get downstairs last time? Did we do this? Did we do this? Is this what we did? Ah, this this looks right to me. Somewhat. Is it? I I don't know. I can't remember. This is oh somewhat right. You know what? I'm just gonna make my way to the entrance. Hopefully. And that'll get us all the way back down. Uh, wait. This? This is right, maybe? Uh, God, it's kind of right. Can I, can I go to the right here? Nope. Oh, crap. We are getting stuck again. Dang it, we are so close, too. I just need to make my way to the entrance. If I can get back to the entrance of the dungeon, I can take care of everything else. Okay. Yes, this is, this is it. This is perfect where I want to go. We get back to the entrance. I'll be perfectly fine to get us to where we need to go. Let me get out of here then. It's kind of weird how we're going to have to like backtrack all the way before we even get to... Ooh, can I push? Yes! It's letting me back. Oh, wait, wait. Why didn't I just let one of these gra hands grab me? Grab me. Take me back to the entrance then. Ha <laughs> ha! Shortcuts. All right. Now with that, we are exactly where I wanted us to be. Because now we are ready to proceed into uh, the boss's lair. Oh, boy. Ah, this is gonna be a rough one, guys. I'm gonna hopefully be able to defeat it, uh, but I'm gonna have to try pretty dang hard for it. Okay, this is where we have to be. Now that you guys saw a little bit of shortcut, probably not how you're supposed to do this dungeon, but, you know, I'm not the usual, you know, Zelda player. I kind of mix things up the easier route, and there we go. We have unlocked what must be the ancient tomb, then. So I guess we're about to find out what lays at the bottom of it. Please just tell me it's, you know, it's not a like a keys 
or, you know, like, just a snake. That would really, really suck. Is this the... This has to be the right place. Yes, I, I am correct this time. I am correct without a doubt. Give me some hearts, though. If you guys would be really nice and give me some hearts, I would love a fairy here, too. Thank you. Thank you so much, game. You know what? That just made my day. Now we're going to kick this final boss's butt. Well, final dungeon boss, I must say, because we actually still have quite a bit since it is a linked game. Okay, let's shoot this up. Whew, we are we are very ready. We are at full health. We have our items. It is time for us to make our way inside. Take on the eighth boss. Here we go, guys. It is a... Is, it, is that rock? Whoa. That's the dude from Mega Man. Okay, uh, this, this one's pretty easy. Uh, he has four forms. I know because you guys told me. Uh, four forms. You basically hit his arms back at him and it hurts him. And if you do that three times, uh, you are moving on to what you guys will see very soon. Gosh, I can't hit this man. Oh, crap. I don't want to take damage either because, oh, man, this is going to really suck if I start taking a lot of damage. All right, come on, come on. Shoot your hands. Shoot your hands. Did I hit him that time? Oh, crap. Oh, he's putting way too much damage on me. This is not good for me right now either. Because the more damage he puts on me... Oh, crap, guys. This is going to get pretty dang... I should not be taking this much damage from this guy. Especially when his other phases are going to be so much harder. Of course, of course this is happening right now. Like, I, I used to kick this guy's butt when I was young. But, of course, as soon as I get to, you know, play this one with you guys, let this guy just crap on me. There we go. We got him. I need to go through this next phase without taking a hit. That's honestly what needs to happen. Uh, I know that this next phase is going to be throwing bombs into its its hands. Um, when it opens its hands like that, you throw a bomb, we hit him once, and I'm just basically going to try to keep him up here, because if I, if I can keep him above me, uh, I should be able to throw uh, bombs in his hands like pretty well. Uh, I didn't time that one right. Hopefully this one I do get it. That's two? Perfect, perfect. One more. No, I need him up here. I need you up here. Move your, move your face. You know, get, get out of the bottom. I need you up here. Get up here. One more. We get like two steps further up, and I might be able to do something. Oh, my gosh. That was way too close. That was way too close. I need to chill it out. Get up here. Come on. I don't know why he's chilling at the bottom. You'd think he'd, like, chase you if you're up here. Oh, that's it. Please. Got him. Three times. Okay. Now we move on to... This phase is a little bit tougher. Uh, you have to use the scent seeds and actually shoot him... Uh, like that from behind I know and uh, watch out because oh fudging yeah he throws balls at you there we go I hit him twice already oh gosh those balls are really hard to dodge this guy's got some big balls to go at us all right oh Jesus look at those lasers all right all right I can't I can't do this I'm gonna die I'm gonna die oh okay I got this 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 one more hit what no, that's, that's crap. I hit him three times. Oh, son of a fudge. Son of a mother. Okay, okay. This, oh, crap. Oh, crap, guys. This guy's gonna kill me. This, oh, that's it. Okay, one more. This is his final phase. Now, this is probably the toughest one for me uh, because he will throw those, those fudging balls at you and then you have to grab them and uh, dodge them at the same time. So every time he throws that one at you like that, even though it's the opposite one, that's not a, the one I want him to throw at us, you're going to have to grab the other ball in his right hand. So if he throws his left, grab his right hand, uh, then we pull it back, and then we slingshot it back at his face. That's one hit. I know. We're going to have to do this like three or four times. All right, come on. I couldn't even grab him. I don't know why sometimes it doesn't even let you grab him. So be careful there, uh, because if you, can't, if you can't grab them, then basically I'd recommend just getting out. Because you're going to take a bunch of damage. Holy crap. Who would have thought that... I am so nervous for this final fight. I need to just, like, land it here. Come on. Come on. Throw it at me. Throw it at me. Throw me it. Oh, fudge. I don't think I can grab him. Nope. So, as you can see, you actually have to, like, go for it pretty much immediately. Or you're not going to be able to grab the hand. For some reason, I'm not grabbing the hand right now. Uh, something's off with it that it isn't letting me grab it. I have no idea what it is. Oh, come on, dude. Please. Please let me grab your hand. He's not letting me grab it. I don't know what it is right now. I couldn't tell you. Uh, what is it that he's not letting me grab it? Crap. I must be doing something wrong. I must be doing something wrong. Oh, fudge. What is it? What is it? What is it? What is it? There I go. I got it that time. What? How is this glitching up this bad? Like, 
How come I can grab his hand sometimes and sometimes I can't? It must be one of those things where you have to grab them pretty much as soon as it comes out. Because right there, I can't. What the heck? Alright, I should have about one more hit to go. Could this be it? Oh my gosh, please tell me this is it. Thank you! Oh my gosh, okay. Four phases later, barely any hearts. We managed to defeat him. We obtained a heart container. That is the last heart container we're going to obtain from dungeons. All that is left for us now are the heart pieces, which we will have to collect very soon. So there we go, guys. And with that, we have obtained the Falling Star. That is the eighth out of eight essences of time. We have obtained it. It is the eternal light of this heavenly body, and it acts as a guide to the other essences. Rodri, you've gathered all the essence of time. Now I can create something that will aid you. Rodri, please visit me after you've grown up. I'll wait for you, no matter how long. What? Growing up? What could that mean? I thought we were already grown up. And I guess the Maku Tree has something special for us? Alright guys, next time we're going to continue from here. We've collected all eight essences of time. All that's left is to go and see Varen. And collect some heart pieces and random rip things here and there from the Link game. If you guys have any tips, just want to tell me how you're doing, let me know. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode. Goodbye.